Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, today we're doing a Marilyn Monroe related video. We haven't done one of these for a very, very long time. We are going to take a tour through one of my Marilyn Monroe scrapbooks. Now, I was looking through my playlists on YouTube and I noticed that I didn't have a book 11. I'd gone 10, 12, 13 and 14. So, whoops, excuse that, that's an Ikea bag for me then. So, we're going to do book 11. So, uh, apologies to those of you who've been waiting for ages for one of these. I know it's taken me a long time to get to them. It is really difficult at the moment, but I'm back at work. Jennifer takes up a lot of my time and I am obviously, as you know, if you've been following this channel, watching, um, watching, uh, running my own small business, very, very small. But if you like this video and you've not seen any more, go check out the Marilyn Monroe playlist. There's all Marilyn Monroe related videos, um, mostly book reviews. There's a bookshelf tour. There's some of my collection, not all of it, just some of it. And of course, these scrapbooks. Anything else I can find as well, Marilyn related, I will put in. So let's get started. Oh, finally. Right, book 11. A little better late than never. So on the first page, we have this lovely picture of Marilyn out on the town, holding a champagne glass from the mid-50s. Uh, the next page is mostly all about the documentary, well, it is all about the documentary, The Final Day. Now, this is not to be confused with the documentary, The Final Days, which is about the making of Something's Got to Give. This is just about her last day on Earth and about her death. Not one I would necessarily recommend. Um, so that's just a, a quick bit of bump about it, pick of the day. And then down here, there's a bit that just says, Marilyn's a star and that's final. And this is from the Sunday People, 11th of June, 2000. And it says, Marilyn Rose's tragically early death might be one of the most discussed departures of the 20th century. But that didn't stop ITV's The Final Day series using it to kick off their new series. While no one can accuse ITV of originality, any excuse to see those clips of Marilyn in her prime can't be all bad. Yeah, there are some nice clips in there. On the next page, we have a longer article. This is from the Daily Mail, and it's uh, a final insult, Marilyn, and just says, who really cares how Marilyn Monroe spent the last day before her death in the early hours of August 5th, 1962? Clearly, television does with yet another investigation, in inverted commas, um, on Saturday night with about the final day, because, um, of course, all the Kennedy stuff, which we don't go into. We can if you want, but we won't at the moment. The next page is about, mostly about Some Like It Hot being voted the world's funniest film ever. And at the top, it basically is, there's a snub for Brian and that's to do with the British comedy of The, the Life of Brian, because most of the films on that list were American. The next one down, if you ever need somebody, it's not the best light in here today, I'm afraid is about the coroner's office in LA who now have a gift shop and then we have another little bit about some like it hot and a little bit about the book The Misfridge by Sergei Tubiana. I have this book I do recommend it it's a lovely book on the next page we have Drop Dead Gorgeous this is from the Radio Times um, and again it's about you guessed it the final day in the bottom corner, we have a lovely picture of Marilyn on the cover of Personal Romances. The next page is a National Enquirer article, How Marilyn Got Her Wiggle, and other little-known facts about well-known stuff. So basically, perpetuating the story that Marilyn hacked off her heel so that she would wobble when she walked. I have seen her shoes, they are all the same height. I'll just leave that there. Next page is from an article of on um, Laurence Olivier and it's just a little bit about the, the relationship between them on the set of The Prince and the Showgirl because of course he wasn't very complimentary about her at all. Next we have an internet article. I used to print up lots of internet articles because at the time it was hard to get hold of clippings. Um, I don't buy magazines and newspapers very often these days. What clippings I get, I buy in bulk from um, a guy down in London who does it for me. Or alternatively, I buy some 
packs off of eBay if I want to. More on that at the end of this video. So this is about Clark Kidder who has written five books on the subject of collecting Marilyn Monroe. Three of which are about the magazines, two are about general collectibles. It's quite a long article. Whatever. As you can see. And I did used to, to do a lot of these. If you've seen some of the other ones, there are loads of them. Again, this one here is another one of these. I don't know why the, the light is not very good. I think we need brighter bulbs in this room. Um, DiMaggio spoke of Monroe on his deathbed. This is about the story that Ma DiMaggio said just before he died, I'll finally get to see Marilyn. Next article is from the Radio Times and it's an article by the late Barry Norman. There is life after death and it's about Marilyn, Bruce Lee and James Dean. Um, just a page to put some legends on, I guess. Uh, next, we're back to the internet. This is BBC News. Marilyn, too hot for Mexicans. Uh, this is a story about a drawing which associated Marilyn's image with that of the Virgin Mary and Mexico being a Catholic country wasn't very happy about it, which is fine. They're entitled to that. Um, I don't particularly like Andy Warhol's pictures of Marilyn. Other people love them, and that's fine too. Um, on the next page we've got more BBC. Daryl itching to film and row role. This was from when Daryl Hannah was cast to play the role of the girl in the Seven Year Itch on the West End stage in London. I don't think it was a hit. I don't know. I didn't see it to be honest. Um, and then there's a newspaper article from the Mail. Two more about her here from the mirror and the star if I knew she was in a paper even if I know she's in a paper now if I go into a shop I will pick that paper up um, but I don't buy papers as such and again there's people who have played Marilyn over the years we've got uh, Billy Piper, Kylie Minogue, Jerry Hallowell, Margie Clark yeah don't ask uh, next is the Inquirer. Inquirer always posts published lots of articles on Marilyn as well as other people and yeah okay their articles aren't I'm trying to just put that bit very complimentary they're very much a scandal manga rag more so than our tabloids just the secret files on Hollywood's hottest scandals so you've got Lana Turner, Frank Sinatra, JFK, Marilyn, Rock Hudson and so on and that's all we're gonna say Next is um, a little article, Stars Act Up a Storm. It's actually from the Daily Mail letters section and the question, well, the question section. Which actor has endured the most appalling natural conditions when making a film? So there's a few things on there. So there's a bit about Meryl Streep and River and Return of Marilyn and, and so on. Next page is a mixture of um, just TV guide to films and what channels they're on, something like our Misfits bus stop. And then in the bottom we've got some older articles. So this is um, Catherine Hicks, I think, yeah? Catherine Hicks in Marilyn, The Untold Story. So just various, it's about Beyond the Legend, which is one of the earlier documentaries from the 1980s. I actually like that one. And then this bit about Niagara. They're, they're old art because I've just stuck them in. Thoroughly Modern Marilyn's from the Daily Mail. This is about some Marilyn lookalikes. Um, our favourite, of course, is the lovely Susie. Susie Kennedy. Everybody, we love Susie Kennedy. We always will. She is fabulous. Such a love. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not saying this just for the sake of it. She is a lovely girl, lovely lady nicest person you could ever want to meet so lovely really love Susie I haven't met the others so I can only comment on how nice Susie is and then we've got Cherry Hampton now Carolyn Patton you would have seen Carolyn Patton way back in volume two I think um, there was a big Marilyn spread in People magazine from the Sunday People about Marilyn lookalikes and Carolyn Patton was one of the ones featured then so she's been going for a long long time and then the last one is Leanne Marie Lewis I don't know 
Who or Che Hampton? I only know of Carolyn Patton, who I've heard of before, and my phone's going off. Obviously, Susie, who I've met a few times. Next is Vanity Fair, September 2000, for the love of DiMaggio. This is a long article about Joe DiMaggio because it wasn't long after his death. He died in 1999. So it's about the whole of DiMaggio's life and career, not just about his time with Marilyn, although there is a photograph here of him at Marilyn's funeral. Yeah, you can see baby bibs and things in the corner on the table. Lovely picture of, of them there. Well, two pictures, one of <coughs> the premiere of the seven year inch and one taken in about 62. It's a lovely big long article about him. massive article and then we've got uh, this is from the Sunday Times and this is Lisa Marie Presley as Marilyn and then next I'm sure I filmed this one I just couldn't have um, done it because I, I'm sure I've seen this Daily Mail how Rod's Rachel got a Monroe makeover and this is because she dressed up as Marilyn and sang I think Diamonds Are Girls with Friend possibly on Stars in Their Eyes Celebrity. Is it that one she said? Just have a quick look. I think it was Diamonds Are Girls with Friend. Um, and there's a few about that. And then of course we've got that Marilyn Magic. Every time somebody dresses up as Marilyn for a TV show or something like that, they drag out all the old photographs of all the old stars who've dressed up as Marilyn ever and they do this. So we've got obviously Rachel Hunter, Jeannie Triplehorn. Down here we've got Twiggy, Joan Collins. I don't know if you can see that because it's really small. Anna Nicole, Elizabeth Hurley, who we don't like. <laughs> then we've got Adriana Sklinerakova, who was apparently a Wonder Bra model. Jane Horrocks, Melinda Messenger, Madonna, obviously, we've got to have a bit of Madonna in there, um, Gina Lee Nolan and Melanie Griffith at the top there. Again, this is why I'm sure I showed this before, but it's not in my playlist. Uh, this is The Sun, but it's the online sun. Rachel's Marilyn Monroe, so obviously they did not like it. A TV Insider, the only similarity is that they're both blonde. <laughs> Whoops! And then there's uh, Inquirer, we're back to the Inquirer. Sinatra family outraged over New Marilyn scandal. And then we've got uh, the Daily Mail and Steen pictures of Marilyn Monroe. This is, this is why I'm sure I've done this is from James Haspel's last book. Sadly, he hasn't done another one since. Whether you like him as a person or not, I'm not going to get into. I met him and he was very nice to me. Other people have had other experiences, so I don't know. Um, but his books are some of my favourites. So he may well have over exaggerated his relationship with her. But hey, at least he met her. This page isn't very much, so basically Monroe picked my lotto winner, says Dar Darrell, because she won a thousand pound on the lottery. And Marilyn's ghosted it, yeah, of course, right, yeah. You trying to drum up tickets for your show? I think so. Um, and then there's just little bits about celebrity stars in their eyes, and then how people are connected, so. And again, this is another one of those making the stars up as Marilyn. This is Liza Minnelli as Marilyn on the cover of Sunday Times magazine. And then again from the National Enquirer, Rod's ex does a Marilyn. And that ends book 11. Yes, the best thing about it is her dress, which is a lovely colour. <laughs> so that is the end of book 11. I'm not sure what happened to it and why it wasn't actually shown before I'm sure I filmed it but hey so on to the topic of Marilyn news clippings I purchased a packet the other day um they haven't arrived yet and I don't know when they're going to of 
clippings that date from the 60s through to the modern day. Um, basically the listing said 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and some from the 2000s. I don't know. Now, what I thought I'd do is when they arrive, if I've got time, which I'm going to try and make time to do, I will actually do a, a video unpacking and showing you these clippings and how I organise them to go into my Marilyn News archive. Because I don't just get everything and shove it in a folder, it is all sorted out in a particular way. So once they arrive, I will show you. And you will see them at the same time as I do, which will be really, really exciting. <laughs> so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea because the one I've got has gone cold. And I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos by a lovely lady um, whose name is Jasmine Chiswell. And she lives in LA, she's from Scotland, she lives in LA, and she lives in Marilyn and Joe DiMaggio's house. Um, and she has her hair and makeup done like Marilyn, she lives a very vintage life, she's a director, writer out there, and she puts up some lovely videos, so go check out Jasmine Chiswell, well. I'm sure she doesn't need a shout out because she's got far more subscribers than I have and she's only just started it a few weeks ago, but then I am a bit of a hodgepodge type of channel. But that's it, so if you've enjoyed this video, do give it a, a thumbs up, you know, leave me a comment down below what sort of content you want to see. Do you want more Marilyn stuff? I can certainly do more Marilyn stuff. Not as much as if I lived in America, obviously, but hey, I can still do more Marilyn stuff. Um, I do have a book review of Marilyn the Last Take coming soon because that was requested by a viewer, so that is coming soon, I promise. I'm going to try and film it next week. I hope. And you'll get my thoughts on that and I will be showing the British edition because that's what I have. Yeah, so don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.